of that and see if this works. This is a spring well, but it does work very well. But this piece I bought does not fit in my two inch pipe and it's supposed to. I'm not going to make the 50 mile trip to try to find one that does. So we're going to try to mill it off to this line we to get it to the right size so we can fit in. Catch up. Oh, we we close. Almost fit. Yeah, grinder son. Catch that. Let me keep on and try it again and see if it works. Boy, it's hot today. We've been running a lot of high heat temperatures. Oh, we almost there. A little more cutting and it'll be done. Keep coming. Chat. Let's try it again. We were real close last time, so hopefully when we get it, we'll have it. So, ha look at that. Now we should be pulling water up. Look at that, that quick. See that?
brown water it's just because we pulled everything up and we're disturbing it at the bottom and when we disturb it at the bottom it has a tendency to get muddy for a couple minutes and then once we've turned the pump on and let it run for a while it'll it will clear up so we got it about beat now at this point <clears throat> But this well, we've had it now for about four years, and we was on that first foot valve, and uh, I lost a piece in it this morning, not giving a thought. I was kind of had one of those moments where I shouldn't have done it, but I thought ahead and didn't think it through. And now I had to change the foot valve part, so that's where we're at. So. Hook me up in there, please. I'm gonna unhook this hose here. I'll let it burn for a while so it can pump out the, I don't want all the mud going up into the, in my pressure tank up above. Where's our socket to fix this clamp? That other driver you got. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, kick it on. Pump on. This water is so cold, it's not even funny. We're gonna let it run a minute and get it to where it's pumping nice and clear. And then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, Hook it back up so it'll go into the pressure tank. But it's hot enough, I'm going to dip my head in there just to cool off because it's got to be close to 100 degrees outside. We're in kind of a really bad drought right now. And this well seems to stay very active. These pumps here, I buy them on eBay. They cost me like 20 bucks on eBay. And they're 70, 70 or 80 PSI at 1.2 gallons a minute. And on top of the hill, I have them in a 30-gallon, 35-gallon tanks, two pressurized tanks. And what happens is it'll actually fill up and pressurize and shut off, and, it'll, and I can fill a 5-gallon bucket up in 32 seconds. And this pump is only rated for 1.5 uh, gallons a minute. Or, oh, yeah, 2 gallons a minute. And I can do way more than that. Now, see, we got mud in the bottom over here. We'll let it pump all this out. And it'll clear up and be real nice and pretty when it's done. So it just got to suck all that mud out of the bottom that we stirred up in this thing to get it going. So, but it won't take it long. This well is, uh, I say it's about 10 foot deep. The water is ice, ice cold. And uh, like I say, it normally pumps nice and clear, but we disturbed the bottom of it when we kept trying to get the pump head to work on it. So it'll, it'll, take off and go it's starting to kind of clear up a little bit probably another five minutes of running it'll be ready to go and hook back up into the house so you guys have a good day and we'll talk to you later bye